I have been working in public health for, for a long time. Um, I did my master's in public health many, many years ago. Um, and I love the field of public health. Um, but I soon realized that in, in order to implement these public health programs, which are so, so important, um, you, you have trouble implementing, because, implementing these programs because many of the systems don't work very well. So that's why I became a health economist and got interested in health economics because I felt like I had to speak that language of financing and payment in order to understand why some of these systems are failing so that we can implement our public health programs more appropriately. And I guess the US is a great example of that right now. <laughs> um, we're having a lot of trouble implementing public health here in the United States because our system is not strong enough. Financing payment are important, but they're only a means to the end. <laughs> the end is to make sure that individuals have access to healthcare services, aren't paying a lot out of their pocket for healthcare, and they're healthy, and they're getting the services that they need. And so I feel like addressing some of these financing and payment issues is one way to solve those particular problems. And so that's the, the lens that I use.